if it's a brand new person starting, I tell them to start with TikTok and IG Reels, like just basically all the short form traffics, right? I say, hey, create a, a simple TikTok video and then post it on IG Reels, Facebook Reels, YouTube Shorts. This is the best way to get started. Now, as my students start getting results, you know, my beginner students, I say, okay, you need to start focusing on YouTube because YouTube is a long-term play. What's going on, everyone? Shaku Hussein here, and I am here today excited for another episode of the Shaku Hussein Show. It's been a while since I, I got on a guest, uh, just because I've been taking some time off uh, from doing any podcast whatsoever. But now, you know, I, I heard about Jonathan through another friend or a couple of friends, and they said, hey, you should check this guy out. He's making anywhere from $300,000 to $500,000 a month using funnels, and in particular, low ticket funnels and i was like hey you know what let me just connect with uh jonathan hit him up on facebook and i was like yo you want to jump on a call it's supposed to be like 15 20 minutes we ended up speaking for over an hour ended up doing some business and now i have managed to uh, get him to agree to do a little podcast and so jonathan what's up buddy Hey, Shakir, thank you so much for having me on brother um yeah dude your results are incredible i'm so excited to be here and, and talk on, on your podcast. Yeah, no, absolutely. And, and I love helping, you know, people go from zero to six figures and seven and eight figures and all that. So, um, you know, I was, I was giving you some advice before on like backend strategy and really like maximizing um, the value of customers, right? Over, over a long period of time um, for yourself, dude, how do you go for, uh, you know, the coolest thing about your journey is that you said 2019, you were in your engineering job. So how does yeah. someone in 2019, which I guess was just before the pandemic, go yep. from there to now making, you know, $300,000, $500,000 a month with funnels? Yeah, man. So like I said, I worked uh, I worked an engineering job. I did the whole uh, college thing, got my job in engineering. And um, man, I was just sick and tired of the job, man. I just, I had to get out. So I... I started learning affiliate marketing. Uh, that was kind of my start. I started promoting other people's programs. Uh, typically, I would promote higher ticket programs, and I would start getting some good results. Right, I started to post it on you know YouTube and, and TikTok, and a lot of people came to me and asked for my advice. Right, naturally, I was getting these results. So, yeah. um, long story short, I basically you know I, I built a, a a funnel or I'm sorry, a, a program around like, Hey, this is how I'm getting these results. And it was literally step-by-step step on how to do everything. Um, so basically I, I sold that and uh, we, we put it in an automated challenge an automated sales funnel. And, you know, people basically go through this. Uh, it's a low ticket challenge. It's a $7 challenge. And um, at the end of the three days, it's basically a three day challenge. Um, then they could go and, and up and buy the, the main program where I give them even more resources, more stuff like that. So that one is, is 1500. Uh, and that's how I've basically gone from at this point, we've done a little over three, 3 million, uh, since I've launched that. Um, so yeah, man, that's kind of where we're at now. And, uh, we've, we're just working on scaling, getting better and, and, you know, focusing on our students, trying to get them better results as well. So that's kind of where we're at. Yeah, no, absolutely. Let's kind of dig into the funnel a little bit more. Yeah. Um, what are the price points that, that that's like that you have now, and how many customers have you put through the program? Yeah, so the low ticket program, uh, the challenge itself, uh, about thirty one thousand people have gone through that challenge. Um, so typically, it's a, it's a seven dollar to start. There's a forty seven dollar uh, uh, order bump. I believe a ninety nine dollar uh, one time sale, one forty seven, uh, another one time sale, and then a four ninety seven one time sale as well. So there's you know there's quite a few bumps in there and, and one time sales um, through throughout that funnel. And now you know the things I kind of sell are like um, done for you uh, funnels. I have uh, live YouTube trainings, uh, stuff like that. So those are the things those are things that people actually need throughout this journey, right? A lot of my audiences, uh, they're still working a nine to five job and they're still, you know, they're, they're pretty new in, in their journey. So I try to give them all the tools and the resources they need um, to help them kind of get there quicker. And that's why I have multiple upsells throughout the funnel. So that's just the low ticket funnel itself. So, you know, potentially, you know, with the funnel itself, you could, you know, I could make up to $750, maybe a little bit more, um, you know, if they were to take all the upsells. 
on on an average, how many how much does someone come in and spend after they've they've paid seven dollars? Um, like in the funnel itself, or just you know the whole course. Like, uh, let's say say the funnel first. So the funnel, the average, we're getting around thirty, about thirty dollars, depending on the traffic that we get. Uh, typically, if it's my own traffic, it's a little bit higher uh, in like the forty, forty-five dollar range. If it's coming from uh, an affiliate, because we we have an affiliate program as well, it's typically in like the thirty dollar range um, with like average cart value for just the low, low ticket funnel. Nice. And then um, in terms of like people that buy the seven dollar. Uh, a program how many of them actually go on to buy the fifteen hundred dollar back end uh so it's around with all the traffic around three percent three percent conversion will buy um will buy the fifteen hundred dollar program again it really depends on who's um who's where the traffic's coming from typically if it's uh you know if it's coming from an affiliate it'll be a little bit lower if it's coming from like my youtube channel it'll be way way higher uh, because you know it's long form content stuff like that but if we put it all together about three percent wow yeah. awesome and then um when you again like some of these questions i'm asking for my audience but i'm also asking for myself here as well right so it's like when you look at your funnel and it's like hey 2019 you were an engineer and then boom you did this low ticket funnel which is like you know i really do like 99 percent of what i do is like high ticket stuff so i'm like yeah. always fascinated by uh, guys that do low ticket stuff. Uh, what do you think has been the key uh, success or the metric? Or what, what has been the key lever in 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 go going to that three million dollar mark? I think I think the biggest thing was um, I really didn't hold anything back on my challenges and and like even my low ticket stuff. Like a lot of people always say, you're giving out way too much, man. Like this is this is something you should be charging a lot just for the seven dollars. So you know, I, my thing is like, Hey, if I can get someone a result with, with, you know, a low ticket funnel or low ticket challenge, then I think eventually they're going to, they're going to buy my higher ticket stuff, right. My, my, my main course. And then later on, when I, when I have a back end where they can work with me personally, they're going to end up buying that because I have built this trust with people. So my thing is just always being extremely transparent, but also giving them like a ton of value, right? Not only in the video content itself, but like I give out tons of resources to, to help someone get a result. So that's, I try to put my mind into like, where are they at in their journey, right? Like, like, like I said, they're still working a job. They're still, they have no idea what funnels are. They have no idea, you know, what online marketing is. So I give them everything they need to, to get started, right? Even if they only paid $7 and if I can help them get a result there, they're going to buy my, my more higher ticket things. So um, honestly, man, just giving as much as I can, um, yeah. even, even in my free content itself, I still give a lot there. Um, and I think that's, that's been the biggest thing for me. Yeah. You can never go broke if you're giving away generously. Right. Yeah. And so um, even today I was listening to something, which um, I think it was Alex Homozi and he was talking about like, You've seen Alex Homozi's videos, right? Oh, yeah. uh, he's blown up. Yeah, and it, it, his stuff is so good. And one of the things he was talking about was like, just giving generously um, always just increases your wealth or something like that. And, and that was like, you know, it's a good reminder. It's like, well, let me ask you this. In terms of um, your team, how big is your team? And, and who do you have and what do they do? Yeah. So most of my team is, uh, they focus on like the social media side of things. So I have like, I have a full team for YouTube. So I have like a YouTube editor, a YouTube manager. Um, I have a thumbnail, a designer, uh, SEO manager as well. So a lot of my team comes from like just the social media side of things. And I do have a support team as well. Um, and, and I do have someone running like my Instagram, like a DM closer. So that's basically my team there. Not nothing massive. Uh, we're still building that out. And that's also been uh, a big game changer for me. I didn't, I didn't build a team till like maybe six, seven months ago. So that's been a huge shift for me personally. Uh, but that, yeah, that's basically our team right now. A lot of it comes from the, the YouTube part of things. Cause that's my main focus when it comes to traffic is YouTube. So you know, I focus a lot of time there. So, yeah. 
And then um, is this your first Grand Slam offers or do you, have you like created other offers before? Oh, uh, yeah, man. I've definitely created multiple offers. A lot of them, uh, you know, did OK, didn't do well. Um, this one, this one I knew. So this is the so the main program, like the fifteen hundred dollars is is uh, is called Freedom Breakthrough 2.0. So I had a one which did OK. Um, and then we revamped it. I really listened to my students inside my Facebook group. Um, and I, I tried to create an offer that they really, really wanted. So when I launched 2.0, like it was a no brainer. Even the people that bought 1.0 ended up getting the 2.0 because it was just, the offer was that good. Or it was something that they wanted. Right. And part of that is because I listened to them like for a whole year, I was just taking notes and trying to figure out what do they actually want? What do they actually need? And I try to, you know, I try to create one, an offer that, you know, it, it would be stupid to say no to, right. Like Alex Hermosi always says, yeah. um, you know, and you can only, you could only do so much with the course. Right. But that's what I wanted to achieve in, 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 in creating that. So. Yeah. No, I like it. Do, do you have like a big support team or how do, how do you handle all the, all the support tickets that come in? Yeah, man. Um, so yeah, we do have a lot of tickets come in, especially as, as you can imagine with the low ticket. Um, right now we, we have two full-time people working in support um, and they're, they have their hands full. I mean, but they, they're good. You know, they, they, they handle all the emails. They, they fix any, any, any other technical stuff. And, you know, basically what I do, like if, if someone has a technical question, um, we'll actually send them to the group itself. Like we have a group of 20,000 people and, um, you know, a lot of the times the, the people in the group will help with that as well. Like if it's something like, you know, a basic question about funnels or email marketing, just something that someone has already gone through. Uh, we refer them to the group and, you know, we'll have a ton of people that comment because there's my group's super engaging. So a lot of the times I'll just say, Hey, go to the group, ask your questions, show screenshots. And will you kind of utilize the group for that? Uh, but of course we do have the support team. If, if someone needs more, um, you know, login help or access, anything like that, but yeah. No, oh, that's awesome, dude. And then, um, how are your affiliates making sales? Are they doing paid traffic? Like from your traffic, how much of it is paid and how much of it it's free? So from the affiliate side of things, um, most of my affiliates are focusing on um, actually TikTok and short form videos. So that's, that's kind of how I grew my business very quickly uh, was I focused on, on short form traffic and building my email list that way. So you know, I, I teach them the same way or the same thing that I did. So a lot of them are using these short form video platforms, Instagram reels, Facebook reels, TikTok, even YouTube shorts. And basically they're making, you know, seven, 10, 13 second videos, very simple videos. And they're sending them to, you know, my affiliate links or, or I'm sorry, my, my pages, my three day challenge, and they're making money. And then they go through the system, you know, they end up, some people end up obviously upgrading and, um, and that's kind of how they're getting, uh, their sales. Now, some of my top affiliates, you know, I have affiliates making 30, 40, $50,000 a month. They, they actually focus on Facebook organic. So they will, you know, spend time, you know, creating, um, you know, a nice Facebook profile and they will basically just create posts almost every single day and, and reach out to people and they'll, they'll close people on DMS. And those are the ones that are doing pretty well. They're making ton of money uh, obviously it's a lot more work because you're having to you know go dm people but hey they're doing well so that's kind of how it works and some people that don't want to focus on that more they want more passive income they just focus on creating you know videos and sending them to my links so yeah man no that's dope dude and, and then are you training them or is this like self-taught how is how, how what's the training like you know for them to promote like for the actual affiliates a lot of them will yeah. Some of them came from other programs. They already know affiliate marketing. They already know, they already have a list. They already have a YouTube channel. So they already know what to do, right? They already know, you know, they'll create a YouTube review or they'll, they'll send an email to their list. Those affiliates tend to do well, obviously, because they, they already know affiliate marketing. They already have a list. Uh, for those that don't know, I mean, essentially they go through my training and they'll, they'll know how to. Uh, build an email list. They'll know how to create a, a simple bridge page funnel, um, how to create a following on, on YouTube and TikTok. 
um, and, and then start generating traffic that way. So, you know, the brand new people that have no idea what affiliate marketing is after they go through even my three day challenge, they basically have everything they need to, to start promoting, uh, whether it's my program or, or another program, they don't have to promote my program. A lot of them end up doing that, but, um, but yeah, so I teach them everything they need to basically promote any program they like, um, with affiliate marketing and build their email list. That's, that's the main thing I focus on is building their email list. Cause it's like, I don't want them to promote some other program and then they're not building their own assets. So I'm always teaching them, Hey, you need to build your email list. Um, and that's the main thing that, that we teach. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's dope, dude. In terms of the people that are doing TikTok, would you say like, if you had to choose like one traffic source, what would it be? YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, you know, which one? Yeah, that's Instagram. a great question. Yeah, no, that's a great question, man. Um, so if it's a brand new person starting, I tell them to start with TikTok and, and IG Reels, like just basically all the short form traffics, right? So basically I say, hey, create a, a simple TikTok video, download that and then post it on IG Reels, Facebook Reels, YouTube Shorts. I just say, hey, just do this. This is the best way to get started. Um, now, as my students start getting results, you know, my beginner students, I say, okay, you need to start focusing on YouTube because YouTube is a long-term play. That's the traffic engine, right? First, we focus on getting results quickly as fast as possible. And, and then I'm like, okay, now you got to start thinking about how can you build your business out um, or how can you start thinking about the long-term, you know, long-term thing, right? So traffic on, on YouTube. So I, I used to teach like YouTube is the, the first thing you need to get started with. The only problem with YouTube uh, is it takes time. It takes time to build up your channel, to get views. Um, I still think YouTube the best traffic source on the planet, hands yeah. down, but it takes time to build. So I'm like, hey, start with, start with TikTok, build up your email list, and that's going to help you build your YouTube channel once you get to that point. So I, I try to give them the long-term vision, um, you know, with this whole thing, because, it, you know, at the end of the day, um, I want them to be in this, in this for the long term. So I, I try to give them kind of like, Hey, start here, phase one, phase two, start thinking about doing this phase three, start thinking about doing this and we'll kind of go from there. So, yeah. What, what, what would you say are the challenges that you're facing right now? Challenges what, I'm facing? Like, yeah. Like the, you know, growing the business, growing the companies. Um, I think the biggest thing it's always been a challenge is, uh, is, is, is getting like a solid team around it, right? Like I've been able to build some, you know, some team members that have been able to help me, but, um, you know, trying to find like higher level skill sets, right? That can help me run the business day to day has been like my biggest challenge. Maybe it's trust, maybe it's experience. I don't know. That's I always, I think for me is hiring someone that can do a lot of the day to day stuff that, can help me out right because a lot of the times i'm doing a lot of this stuff that i feel like anyone someone else can do even better than me so i don't know what it is but uh i i think maybe it's trust and experience as well um in, in building that solid team around the business yeah well, one solution you know i don't know if you have an assistant do you have an assistant i do not know okay so it's like i don't know how i would function without an assistant i literally had an assistant when I couldn't even afford an assistant. Um, so this is going back like 12 plus years, dude. Even when I was like dead broke, I just yeah. like the first person I employed was an assistant. And I've had probably about five or six throughout the years. Um, and it's like, I just don't do any low leverage activities whatsoever. Like um, just here's, here's an exercise that, that I do with my uh, private clients, which is, make a list of your current activities right now. So let's just say you do like 10 things in a day, right? And then put a value next to it. Maybe each one of those things is like, like say for example, Instagram, posting on Instagram is worth like $50 an hour or whatever, if you're on social media. Doing your webinar is worth maybe $3,000 an hour, right? right? Doing a joint venture with somebody could be worth $10,000 an hour, right? Uh, attending a mastermind. That could be worth maybe five thousand dollars an hour. Uh, you know, checking your emails like ten dollars per hour. So now you have like ten activities that you do on a day-to-day -day basis, and then 
you've got values attached to it, right? right and then right. you can ask yourself, okay, it, it's not the the question is not what one of my mentors, a guy that I used to be in his mastermind called Dan Sullivan, I'm a strategic coach, and I was mm-hmm. there for years. Um, and what, what, one one of the mental shifts that he's, he said is entrepreneurs get stuck on, um, you know, they know what to do. Um, and that's what they focus on. That's why they get stuck. And as soon as you shift your, your mindset to who can I bring on to do X, Y, Z task, right? So for example, you know, um, we were just talking about you promoting one of my offers. I immediately, yeah. as I was talking, I said, hey, just let me text. I texted someone from my team. I said, hey, get all of this stuff ready. We're going to customize this offer basically for your list. So sure, can I do it? Yes, I can. Can I go in and upload the video that we made together? Yes, I can. Can I um, write the copy? Yes, I can. But I could also have my team do that, right? So I can focus on $5,000, $10,000, $20,000 an hour activity. Once you get clear on that, um, it helps a lot. Actually, I'll just I, give me one second. I'll, I'll show you something. Okay. Hold okay. On. I love it. Yeah. Right. So probably uh, for the last, gosh, uh, I think it says 2019. So this is, um, this is something I ha- I keep right next to me. And if you see here, okay, um, if you see here, these are the activities that are worth. I mean, I just ripped it, by the way. Okay, <laughs> trying to get this for you because it, <laughs> it, it, it was stuck. It was stuck on my wall, and uh, <laughs> it's it's been stuck on my wall for years, perfectly. And uh, I wanted to show this to you because I think it's going to help you. I'll send you a digital copy of this, by the way. Uh, that'd be awesome, um, man, dude! It, it's a game changer, and, and I literally I just took it off and I ripped it. But it <laughs> literally breaks down. And again, this won't appeal to everyone. It depends on where you're at. But like I know, what is a hundred thousand dollar per hour activity for me? Okay, why? Because you know I've had hundred thousand dollar days and hours and even in minutes, right? So I know um, what I can do. Like if I'm expanding into new markets, I'm hiring new players, or I'm doing uh, and negotiating deals and JVs, right? Like yesterday I'm speaking to someone. He's like, I think he was like twenty three or twenty seven. He was like, he's a young kid. Um, and he's making up to like 700k a month and he's like yo Shaq uh by the way this was like really late one I don't stay up late anymore um but I stayed up late for this call and he stayed up even later because he was like from Denmark living in South Africa and he was like yo you know I've seen your awards you're young I want you to mentor me like he, he wants help and he's doing pretty good for himself like making up to 700 grand a month and he's like I want to partner up with someone that has all these awards I'm like and he's like, you're the guy. Only after the call, I realized that was a super high value call because that one phone call now gives me access to his entire team, which is like, I think, 60 people that he's got, right? So think about it. That's a $100,000 per hour activity. Uh, yeah. Something like fixing things on a website, cold calling, attending meetings, um, managing my diary. These are like $10 per hour activities. Yeah. So I have... This, this always, I see this almost every small day, right? There's like anything that's less than $1,000 an hour, I need to outsource as fast as possible. I need to hire someone as fast as possible because I'm not doing it. Um, yeah. Even like negotiating with a qualified prospect, unless someone's going to give me like 30K to $100,000, uh, I like I have a sales team. They can deal with, you know, yeah. most, of the, most of the people right. that come in. Um, so, so I'll send you this. And... Um, for yeah, anyone else, I appreciate that. That's awesome. Yeah. For anyone else that's watching or listening, uh, you know, ask yourself each day: Are you working on the highest leverage activities, or are you being reactive to whatever the world is throwing at you? Right? Because what tends to happen is when you are reactive from the morning, you know, this is one of the reasons why I don't actually check social media, or I I rarely ever get on Facebook or whatever. And if I get on, I, I post, and then I'm I'm out. But I'm not going to, you know, I don't even have it on my, I don't even think I have it on my phone. Um, I'm not there scrolling and watching anyone, right? Because I, yeah. I, I know what I need to do. Um, how do you maintain your productivity? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I definitely try to stay at the highest income producer activity. So I'll wake up, I typically wake up at 4 a.m. in the morning. Um, part of that is because I have two, two little ones. I have a two-year-old and a one-year-old. And um, 
I, I get my stuff done from four to about 10. That's like my highest income producing activity time, or that's, that's the time I could do the most. So I focus on things that uh, make me the most money, such as uh, creating YouTube videos, um, creating TikToks, sending emails. Those are the top three things for me. Um, also, you know, if we have a new offer coming out, we're, we're, we're focusing on, on creating new offers. Um, those are the things I try to focus on in the morning. Typically no one's there to bother me and, and, you know, they're messaging people. I'm not, I don't have to worry about that. Right. So that's the things, those are the things I try to focus on, um, you know, writing Facebook posts, um, that are going to get people to my offers. Those are the things that kind of, I try to focus on in, in the morning. So, yeah. Nice. Um, I, we can talk for ages. Uh, we've already spent like an hour before. So I want to say, say, Jonathan, it's been great meeting you. Um, as for people that want to work with you or learn more from you, um, what I did is I, I've set up a unique link so that you can learn about affiliate marketing, okay? And if you go to this link, affiliatemarketingsecrets.com, okay? It's, it's going to be a link under the video. If you're listening to this on iTunes or on the podcast, head over to affiliatemarketingsecrets.com. So that's one word, uh, one word, affiliate, another word, marketing secrets, affiliatemarketingsecrets.com. And it's going to take you to the three-day challenge that Jonathan does. I mean, 30,000 people can't be wrong, right? 30, 31,000 people have gone through this workshop. And I'd love to hear uh, and hear from people from my list, from my audience, have gone on and had success. So, uh, Jonathan, um, where can people find you on social media? Yeah, so uh, YouTube is my main platform. So you could go to my channel at Passive Income Lifestyles. Um, you could also search my name, Jonathan Montoya. It should pop up number one. Um, I have a Facebook group uh, with almost 20,000 members. Uh, that one, just type in three-day challenge, Jonathan Montoya. And then just on Facebook, Jonathan Matoy is, is a great place to connect with me and, and follow, follow what we're doing. So, yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah. And so absolutely. And again, um, please go and check out the, his three-day workshop. It's on affiliatemarketingsecrets.com. You're going to go and get a crash course on affiliate marketing, how to go from zero to 10K per month, how to start selling, even if you have no idea what to sell, you don't have a product or an idea and you're brand new to online marketing. So check out affiliatemarketingsecrets.com. Um, Jonathan, it's been an absolute pleasure getting to know you. Thanks so much for your time, dude. And um, I'm sure we'll be talking a lot more very often. Absolutely, brother. Hey, thank you so much for having me on. And uh, yeah, we'll definitely be uh, in touch in the future. So we'll talk soon. Thank you. Sounds good.